Winning championships starts with defense. In this video, we have to win three straight games to become Super Bowl champions, and in each game, I'll be breaking down a play that has made me one of the best defensive players in the world, starting with our divisional round game. We actually get ball first, so Lamar Jackson's gonna roll out to his left side and throw an absolute laser, and now it's time for our defense to take the field. Oh, so he's in a super heavy single back set. He has three tight ends. I love, though, even against this type of set, of making people prove that they can run the ball and he's gonna fall forward for a few yards nice we're in the kansas city chiefs defensive playbook running a ton of dollar three two six a lot of people will try to run the ball on us but we have some good adjustments to counter that we're gonna blitz these slot corners and that should help against this run game a lot y'all there we go there we go and the nice thing is when we blitz our slot corners we can get super good pressure good make Runners pass the ball, they can't. We decide to go coverage on third and 23, and we run double Mabel, which is my favorite coverage in Madden 24. The first thing we wanna do when setting up double Mabel is to go into our coaching adjustments, go down to zone drops, and put our flats to 25, and our curl flats to just five. Then call any cover two play out of the formation you're choosing, and simply take one defender on each side of the field and put them into a curl flat like we have shown right here, and your defense should look just like this. Advanced players can individually back off each of their outside corners like this, and just like that, you're ready to give your opponent some good D. The double Mabel coverage absolutely bags our divisional round opponent on this third and 23, but then... Good. Give me that. Give me that. Oh! 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 I have no idea how he caught that, but we end up holding him to three on the drive anyways, so it's not the end of the world, but it is, it is pretty frustrating. We get the ball right back on offense. We're up four near the end of the first quarter. We find this dot to Donald Parham Jr., the dog, and then we hit this wheel route to the left sideline before throwing this absolute laser beam. Dot, dot, dot. And now our defense decides to start getting a little baggy right here to help close the door. Good, 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 good. Come on, come on. No, throw it, throw it, throw it, come on. Oh, the drag's not. I mean, you want to throw that on 4th and 27, like whatever, dude. We follow up the stop with an absolute dime to Devontae Adams. Boom, touchdown, laser. Oh, man, things are looking good, boys. We get this user lurker over the middle of the field, and we know he for age quits, and we're going to the conference championship, boys. Just one giveaway for the bull. Unfortunately, though, this opponent might be a little bit better as we throw a pick our very first drive, and he's going to take this bad boy back for six. Oh, my gosh, he got seven out of it, dude. I just had to make a tackle. We basically spot our opponent seven points. Come on, Dot. Parm, let's go, Parm. Get oh! Inside the red zone, Lamar Jackson decides to take things into his own hands as he makes his user miss for a touchdown. Here we go. Come on. All right, we got to play defense. So I have my flats backed off on the right side here, but I kind of want to... It makes it look like I'm running double Mabel, but we're actually going to send a blitz, and he's going to come down super hard. Good D. Good. See, bang! Oh! I mean, literally exactly what I just said. Huge opportunity. The blitz gets him to throw the ball fast, and then we have our flat coming down for a possible pick opportunity. And speaking about pick opportunities, here's my user. Mine! Thank you! Good job. Let's go. Six. Devin. Oh, get out. Ah. Fight. Fight. We're going to have to fight for this to be a touchdown. I don't know how it's going to be. It was not. Nowhere close. We got decked by Justin Fields. And when our offense takes the field, we get totally bagged and ended up getting sacked three straight times, forcing us to settle for three and just take a three-point lead. This next offensive drive for him, we decided to start setting our favorite blitz. Having a great blitz in Madden is so important, and this is how you set up my favorite one. Inside our coaching adjustments, we want our auto alignment to be set to base, and then simply just call the play DB fire out of dollar once again. Now we want to pinch our entire defense by clicking the right bumper and down on the left stick, and then just take your user and stand in this gap right next to the guard, and when the ball is snapped, you're gonna see we're gonna get really good pressure. The defense leads to a quick sack on our opponent, but he's pretty good and ends up taking off up the middle in the next two plays to be able to pick up a first down, which is really frustrating for us so he's shown he wants to attack that left seam from this trips already so i'm gonna immediately get out there with my user good can't throw it if he wants to throw it deep he can try yup 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 he goes full semen demon on me hits me on that left seam and then runs up the middle yet again oh my goodness he's really taking off up the middle consistently on me right now Jeez, it's annoying but like that's where i that's where i want to get beat good defense good defense come on let's go i'm gonna start slanting my defensive line down just to take that away I want him. I, I don't want him to be up the middle anymore. Good, 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 good. Oh wow, he dogged my cover two right there. Good dot. We run a ton of cover two, and this is just something that's open in the middle deep part of the field, which is something that we have to adjust to, and it's just part of the chess match of Madden. Now, we answer right back, though, with a huge post route to Donald Parham on the left sideline. He's going to get a ton of yards after catch here, but unfortunately, we do go down. But on the next play, we have something to the deep right sideline. Dot, dot. Come on. Do 
good. Hey, make him play offense again. Let's go. He's honestly doing such a good job against most of the things I want to do on defense. We're going to hit him with some I call surprise man coverage. Pretty much looks exactly the same as our double Mabel, but man covered. So it should be a little bit, yeah, we're going to get a free, free little stop on him. Wow. He, I mean, that's why you just get a mobile quarterback. Dang, we have a good game right here, boys. I'm rolling that safety on the top right over to the left. Let's go. Good D. Good D. Nothing's there. Nothing's there. Nothing's there. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Take away that deep middle. On the next play, he hits me with this shallow cross, which I don't mind giving up, which brings us to a big third down. But here, I just totally blow my coverage, and he hits a big play. Good D. Good D. Oh, he cooked. He cooked. With very little time left in the half, we're looking for a big play, and that's exactly what we find with Jamar Chase getting wide open. Come on. Juke, go, go. Juke again. Oh, we got to get out right there. Time out. Jeez, he just took a big hit. Time out. 13 seconds. We need to find a way to get seven, and we're going to take a big shot to Jamar Chase on the right sideline. It barely gets tipped up, and now we're throwing a Hail Mary. Crazy, ladies. Crazy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. We're going to go into half, down one. Nope. We missed the kick. <laughs> we just missed that kick. We're down four. His ball. This is not a good spot to begin the second half, so we're just going to keep on sending pressure at him. Good. Come on. We're just going to see how sending the pressure at him. He just wants to run this one play. Such good pocket presence by him, though. It really is. Quick throw right to our... Good. Let's go. Third down. Third down. Third down. We run man coverage right here, and he's just barely able to find a post route. Just getting a step above our man coverage is so frustrating. He thinks he has a touch on this play, but we have two deep end zone KOs, which I think are so good on our high safeties, who are both in halves. He launches this one deep, but we're able to get a knockout. Deep in, deep in, deep in. Makes a huge play right there. And he decides to go to the exact same route on the very next play. Deep in again. Here we go. That's what we have deep in, baby. Come on. Good D. Come on. Good. Let's go. Good stop right there. Oh, he's going. Good. Come on. Second stop our defense has gotten. That pick six just hurts us so much, dog. Let's go. Hot. Oh, we have A. Wide open. Make the throw. Par him. No. The missed touchdown hurts. We're going right back to the same play. And this time, we're able to find our corner route wide open on the right sideline. And right here, we're dialing up a hot route combo. All right, he's sitting in a bunch of man coverage, so we're putting Jamar Chase should be open for a touchdown. Need you right here, kid. Need you. Got him. Got him. Come on. Just need to catch it. Just need to catch it. Oh, he picked it. Oh, that's his second intercept. That's insane. Night train. I have no idea how that was intercepted. I swear that was open, but it doesn't change the fact that our defense yet again has to step up for us here. We we're setting pressure, but he's able to dot us, and eventually, though, our user has to make a big play. My thank you. Flag. Come on, let's go. Six, 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 six. Oh, the defense is coming up so big. Come on. Ah. Oh my goodness, please tell me the flag is a legal forward pass, right? You can't step that far. Decline that. Here we go. And following the huge interception, the offense comes through. Oh, touchdown. Please just catch it. Just catch it. Good job. Let's go. This feels like the first lead we've had literally the entire game, but. Our defense just, this it's too hard to get a stop every single time, and eventually we're gonna fold. Uh, being down on the fourth is never ideal, but with us having ball, we're going to try to milk and chew as much of the clock as we possibly can here to make sure that we score a touchdown with a little time remaining. This dot barely kept our drive alive. All right, like 37 seconds left on the clock. Now we want to try scoring. Screw the clock now. We just got to get points. Why? Let's go. Good catch, baby. Give me something, boys. We got it. Dot, dot, Jamar, Jamar. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> With eight seconds left, we threw the laser of a lifetime. The extra point puts us up by three. And the defense is able to get a stop to end the game. We're barely able to advance to the Super Bowl. God, that was a nail biter. Boys, that was probably one of the most stressful games that's ever been on this channel. But it doesn't matter as we are finally in the Super Bowl. Taking our opponent who's in the Titans uniforms. We're going to find this crosser deep on the left sideline to Kyle Pitts. And then the same exact thing the very next play. He's got a defender or we're just going to keep on running it. We go bubble screen for the easy touchdown and we're on the board first. He wants to run the rock though. And he's doing it out of these like spread sets, which can honestly throw us for a lot of issues. So we're going to go into the cover four quarters play from the 4-3-6-1 defense. I like this so much because we're going to be in a heavier set and we need him to pass the ball. He wants to kind of throw these RPOs, so we're going to move our outside linebackers outside more to help defend against it, and then he's going to audible down. Yeah, see, we get him out of that immediately. Now he doesn't, he doesn't want to call that. He's just trying to Mickey Mouse me. That's fine. Oh, wow, he has a touchdown. He had a touchdown, but we just we messed up coverage. Good D. Let's go. 
Take it. And even though we're on the 4-3-6-1 formation, we're still using that double Mabel coverage. We're running exactly what we've been doing earlier, just out of a different formation now. Good D. Good D. Come on. Oh, that's got to be an interception now, dog. No. No. Oh, oh. Stupid play. He just wanted to try glitching me with the RPOs and stuff, dog. That's all he wanted to do. No. Dumb defense. Dumb offense. At this point, I'm annoyed that his main scheme was to RPO glitch me, so I decided to try to roll out Lamar Jackson, but things backfire, and we fumble, and he's able to take it back for two points, so I guess there goes the shutout. The next drive, he ends up actually throwing an absolute laser at Harold Carmichael, and then throws this wheel route on the right side, and he's in the red zone already. Good D. Fine, thank you. Six. Get six. Okay, we're not going to get six out of it. Oh my goodness, bro. And he's gone. GG's. Officially Super Bowl champions, boys. Hope you learned something from this video. Make sure you rewatch it too, so you make sure you pick up on every little detail we talk about. And if you want to watch another great video, check out this one right here where I use Patrick Mahomes and try to come back from down 50 to nothing.